Hi, baby. <laughs> I was gonna, if I, that wasn't it right there, I was gonna call someone. Yeah, tell me you're running 12 miles and two hours. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right now we're in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Had some flight delayed, missed our second flight going to Melbourne, Florida. So we're just gonna take a road trip. Screw it. Road trip down to Melbourne, Florida. We're gonna get a run in and welcome back to the channel. Like, subscribe. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of wait four and a half hours in the airport, just get a rental car and then drive the car from Charlotte, North Carolina. Kara, th Kara thought Charlotte was in South Carolina. No, I did <laughs> I was like, not. Come on he with the geography. Anyways, so then we're gonna drive. So then when I proved it on the map, since it was so close, cool, because well, basically we're both right. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much, it's basically South Carolina, North Carolina. <laughs> so then I was like, hey, let's just, we're just gonna drive to Melbourne, Florida. It'll be more fun. And North Carolina, we passed through Savannah, Georgia, Jacksonville. You know, if you guys are football fans, Jacksonville Panthers, so yeah. it's gonna be fun. Two hours from our <coughs> destination. Chop, chop! <laughs> Long and miles, chop! I'm gonna learn to love it. Oh, ooh, Road should... trip continues. Woo! All right, we made it to our Airbnb in Florida. Bed and breakfast here in Florida. On the river. Pretty cool house on the river. A bunch of grass right here and river right here. We're gonna go for a run. Yeah. And then we're gonna see Kira's daddy. Yay, Wibbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning. 9 50. Kara and I slept in. Kara made us some really good coffee. She's outside looking at the lake. I wonder if I can see her. Nope, it's the other way. We are, uh, about to set off for a run. I found a little 13.8 mile loop that I'm gonna do. Yeah, there she is. Right out there. So, should be a good day. Oh boy. So, I got the directions right here. I'm gonna do podcast goggins. Kara's calf hurts, and also her tummy hurts. So good luck to me. But I'm not going as far as he is. So I'm doing a loop. It's gonna be like a 13 point something mile loop. Kara's gonna do three up and three back. So it'll be a six mile run. And then she's gonna do a workout. So she'll be working out while I get back. We got this nice little humidity day. Yeah, it's Swim nice and humid out here. Here we go. I missed a turn because I was supposed to turn 
I don't know, I can't find Gaddock. I have it written on my hand. I don't know what's going on. Bonus miles. Ah, I'm extremely lost right now and I'm backtracking to try to find Leghorn. I think I got the roads mixed up. This sucks. Mile 16. I think I found it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my God. Two hours and four minutes into this run. Was not prepared for this. Ah, I found it. Holy shit. I'm so dead. Gratic, you bastard. Oh my God. 740 pace. Hi, baby. <laughs> baby. I was gonna, if I, that wasn't it right there, I was gonna call someone. You can't tell me you're running 12 miles in two hours. Well, I got picked up after 18 miles because I got lost. I thought he died. Kara thought I died and she came to the rescue. I didn't even call her. She was just driving behind me. And then she said, how much further do you have to go? I'm like, how much further is the house? She's like, you passed it. <laughs> Did I pass it again? I, I suck with directions. I pull up next to you and you just keep running. I'm like, it's to be in the car. <laughs> when you saw me, were you like, what the fuck? I was like, what are you, where are you going? Why are you running away from our place? I love you, baby. Oh my God. We are on the move again, driving from Melbourne, Florida to Miami to see Jen and Sebastian. And um, I'm just gonna break down what happened on the run. So basically, Karen and I set out for a run. I had mapped out a big loop <clears throat> and- um, He wrote the directions on his hand. Yeah, so I had written the directions on my hand. L, it was literally all lefts. It was like left, 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 left. There was one right at the end. And um, Karen and I both set out on the same run and she was gonna do an out and back. So she was gonna go three miles and then turn around, which she did made the first two turns, made all the turns pretty much, and then I think it was around mile 11 that I noticed I might have been lost, and then around mile 13, I knew I was lost because the whole loop made 13.6 miles, so I was like, okay, I'm definitely lost. And I thought maybe Kara might come look for me. Um, if I needed to, I could have stopped and done like a track me back on my watch, although for whatever reason, today I didn't decide to, um, do the GPS on my watch because Kara took off and I was like I'll catch up to you and then I was waiting for my GPS to kick in it never did I just said screw it I'm just gonna start the run without GPS so it was around mile 14 14 and a half I think <clears throat> when I when I was like oh crap yeah I'm, I'm lost I need to go back so then I had to backtrack and then 17 and a half miles in I'm there was a car behind me and I'm just chugging along down this dirt road <laughs> and it's Kara Normally I wouldn't have gotten in the car, but we stayed in an Airbnb and we were already granted late checkout for 12 o'clock. And by the time Kara found me, it was like one o'clock. So <laughs> I had no choice. She's like, are you gonna get in the car? So then, and then what happened on your end? Well, so I'm sitting there getting ready and I know that he's very capable, but I knew he was only gonna do 13 only. He does 13 miles and it doesn't take him that long. So I was like, maybe he's working out, maybe he's doing something. So I keep blow drying my hair, then I curl, then I got ready, then I'm packing. Then I just started pacing. I was like, something is not right. So then um, I tell the Airbnb lady, I'm like, thank you so much for letting us check out late. We're gonna check in even later because I don't know where my boyfriend is and I think he's lost. So then I set out in my car and I'm super worried at this point, very um, on edge. And so then I drive by and I'm on this road and I see a runner I'm like, I think that's him, but he's running away from the property that is so close to where I had just turned out from. And I was like, why is he turning? Why is he going away from where we're staying? So then I pull up to him and I'm so thankful that he's alive. And he's like, how much further do I have? <laughs> he's still running. He's like, how much further do I have? I'm like, it's back that way. Oops. And then he continues to run. I'm like, are you gonna get the car? <laughs> I said, well, I guess I have no choice, right? <laughs> no, you did. No, I cut his run short. No, but we needed to get out of there because that lady was we did, so yeah. nice to us. She was really nice. Baked us cookies. Yeah, so, she yeah. baked us cookies, which thankfully fueled his 18-mile run. Almost 18. Yeah, so... Okay, so next time, just wait four hours to act on anything? No. How many hours? No, I'm glad you came and got me. All right. Because we had to leave the Airbnb.
So that's the run. That's the story of the run. Good, good run though. Solid pace.